oblique curl ups, we want to first release the shoulders and the neck with the shoulder twist exercise. So we're taking the arms up over the tips of the shoulders. We're keeping the pelvis nice and still while we take the right arm across the left and the head rolls to follow your hand. Take a breath in and breathe out as you rotate back. And then on the next out breath, move the left arm across the right. Breathe in as you hold it there and breathe out as you rotate back. You want to repeat that around 10 times. Keeping the tummy muscles pulled in tightly and your pelvic floor muscles connected in the background. If you're not familiar with the basic Pilates centering technique, then please refer to the video on my channel. Okay, now for the oblique curl up, we take one hand behind the head, the other hand is resting on the tummy. As we exhale, we're curling up and reaching the arm past the opposite hip. Breathe in as we lower back down. Exhale as we curl up and reach. And breathing in as you lower back down. Keep the tummy firmly pulled in and feel a connection into your pelvic floor muscles in the background. We want to try and move from the waist up into that curl up position without moving the pelvis. And we're pressing both shoulders towards the hip, keeping the chin down and looking directly past the hip. Then we change over, support the head with the other hand and bring that other hand onto the tummy and then curl up and reach, taking the arm past the opposite hip pressing both shoulders towards that hip while keeping the pelvis really still. And you can work up to 20 repetitions each side. So when you can achieve 20 repetitions each side, you can advance the exercise to curl up and stretch one arm and then change, keep supporting the head and reach to the other side. Change the hands behind the head, curl up, reach. Again, it's important to keep your pelvis still so that we can isolate the work into the waist muscles as we curl up and reach. Keep the tummy full, pulled in with maximum effort and your pelvic floor is connected in the background. Work up to 20 repetitions and then see if you can challenge yourself further keeping your hands behind your head. You want to interlace the fingers, keep both hands behind the head as you curl up and press the shoulders towards the hip. Twisting left and right. Lower your head in the middle and curl up to look towards the other hip. Alternating left and right and building up to 20 repetitions. Keeping the tummy muscles firmly pulled in and with the pelvic floor connected in the background. <laughs> 